Alright, so I've already um, applied my um, eyeshadow insurance. Um, now what I'm going to do is apply some like of this NYX in milk, which is just white. And you can use whatever white base that you have. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my lid. Like that. And I'm going to smooth it out with my ring finger. Make it even and nice and smooth. I'm going to be using my 88 Coastal Pan. Wait, what's it called? 88 Coastal Palette. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to be using these. This color and some browns over here. Ooh, ta-da! Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. It actually broke on me. So, that sucks. Alright, I'm going to take my 239 um, MAC brush, which is this one right here. That one. I'm sure most of you know what it looks like. I'm just showing it. Just to show it. You know. And I'm going to take this blue, navy blue color right here. And I'm going to mix it with um, this gray color right there. It's the third gray. So this one and that one. And by mixing it, I'm just going to make the blue a little lighter than what it's usually, what it really is. So just pat that on like that. I'm watching the Simpsons. Get some more gray. I'm just mixing these colors to get the color that I really want, which is like a gray blue. And now what I'm going to do is take my 217, which is this one. And I'm just going to blend out this blue because I, I want the edges to be soft. I want them to really like fade into the other color I'm going to put on. It's kind of messy, but... Oh well. What are you going to do? Anyway, I'm going to take, um, with my 224, this brush, my favorite brush. I'm going to take, sorry, I'm holding this upside down for some reason, I don't know why. But I'm going to take this taupey color right here, which is right next to the grays and the last row of it. This taupe color. And I put that above my crease. Sort of into and above my crease. So just do that toward the brow bone. I have really weird lighting today. Doing that until it's nice and soft and blend. Okay, now I'm going to take this darker taupe color right here and put that on top as well. Just a little bit of it, just to darken that up a little bit. Like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take my 217. I'm going to take a really dark brown color. Wait. Am I? Wait, no. I'm going to take this color, the one right after it. Sorry. Put that into the crease. So right there. Okay, now I'm going to take um, a really dense sort of crease brush. And this is one from Target. It's a contour brush. And um, you can use your Coastal Sense Badger Brown Crease Brush. Whichever one is fine. Actually, I'm going to use this one. Hmm, I'm comparing it. I want the small one. Alright, I'm going to take this really dark chocolate brown right at the bottom and I'm going to kind of mix it with this. So, it's, a, it's like a black brown and this is a chocolate brown. So take the first chocolate brown and I'm going to put that right there in the outer corner and in my crease. Take some of the darker 
black brown to deepen that a bit. So that color is on there and I'm going to take my 224 and blend that. The brown is kind of invading the blue a little bit. I don't know, I don't really like that. So I'm going to take the blue again and with my 239 and oh that's not my 239. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's over here. Sorry. So take that blue again and tap it off. You really have to tap off these eyeshadows because they're really powdery and that's a definite sign that you will have fallout with these if you don't have it off. Take um, a highlight color and I'm going to use actually a matte color from my palette. I'm going to use um, Nile. Hold on. I have to say my eyelash that impact was not good for it okay um oh it feels weird no okay I'm gonna take nylon which is this really shimmery color ah my freaking eyeshadow Ugh. okay so oh, I'm wasting so much time um 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 um, um. where's my I'm taking this brush from beauty of essence CVS. It's just a fluffy brush. And take some of that color and put it right as your highlight. So everything else is matte, so the shimmer is gonna um be great for this. Grab my Urban Decay eyeliner in zero. It's the black one. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my water or Find my eye. Take, um, take a smudger brush. And I'm taking this one. I don't know where I got it from. It's probably my sister's. But just smudge it out. You can do it with a Q-tip too. If you okay, like. so I'm gonna um, put some brown down here. Where's my brush? Oh. I'm gonna take a little brush. Okay, this little bitty brush that I got with the palette. Um, so take the light brown, this one, and then on top of it, we're gonna put this dark brown. Like that. And then take the navy blue that we used, which is this one. Take it. Okay. Put that right there. Then I'm gonna um, line my waterline, and then I'm gonna curl my lashes and put on my falsies, which I'm gonna be using these um, fairy ones. They're called. Okay, but, so um, I did that, and also what I did because it was kind of getting a little mussy down here with the um, because I put on the um, under eyeshadow, the shadow on my lash lower lash line. So I grabbed my um, Studio Finish concealer. And I just grabbed like this angled brush and I just dipped it in there and kind of like cleaned it up a little For bit. My blush, I'm going to use my very, very, very favorite um, pale pink blush, which is by MAC. And it's called Well Dressed. And I used this in my other video. And um, um, that's what it looks like. It's just a pink color. A light pink color. So, so pretty. I love it so much. And the great thing about this color is you can have it really pale pink or you can build up the color for a, 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 a bit of a brighter pink but not too bright. There. Get that much on there. And just put it on my lips. And I'm going to use an, a pink, a soft pink. And this is called, it's a luster and it's called Utter Pervet. It's a really pretty pink. Like, baby pink sort of I love this lipstick so much I got it in my, C my, my CCO so um let's 
see. That's about it. I'm not gonna put any lip gloss on because this is really glazy. Um, so yeah. Anyway, this is the look. Why do I always say it like like the look? Oh, I'm so dumb. Um, I don't know why I do that. But anyway, this is the look. And um it's just, you know, smoky, um, brown and um so this is what the look looks like with glasses and looks really cute um it's so hard when you have glasses and you have to wear them all the time like like i switch from contacts to glasses a lot um but um it's so hard to just uh, to put eyeshadow on and for it to be really visible and you know it sucks so much but um Hopefully this look, you guys will try it out for those of you who have glasses. And you can just switch up the colors to whatever you want. Maybe you want to do purple. Maybe you want to do, like, gray or whatever, you know what I mean? Just, like, you don't have to do this navy blue. But, um, anyway, um, I hope you guys like this. And, um, sorry, my, my, my horse, my dog is, like, going a little crazy out there. But, um. Uh, before I leave, I just want to say a really, really, really big thank you to all you girls who, um, were so nice to me and, like, uh, and, like, um, didn't bash me and actually got my joke from my last video. And, um, yeah, I'm just so grateful with you guys. You guys were so nice and just stuck up for me and, um, stuck up for me when I got those really rude, mean comments. And, and I'm just really, 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 really grateful and I want to thank you honestly like I truly truly am very 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 stop it oh my god <sighs> very happy that you guys are my subscribers and that you guys are so nice to me so thank you so much I have to go because my dog is going a little nutso over here so I'll talk to you guys later bye